Hi, I'm Rob from Skid Street Genius, and today we're going to talk about the McLaren dozer blade or actually any other dozer blade that's controlled with one solenoid using a Deutsch connector. There's going to be two things that we need that come into play here. And one is we're going to first need this little jump harness, and this is our extension harness as well as our jump harness that's going to take the connection out to where our hoses connect. We just plug it in here, and then we have our choice. Uh, this is an 8 pin, this is a PP8. And all that would happen is this is the part that would go on the machine and then plug into this. So basically your install will take you from taking this harness and just running it along the hydraulic lines, putting a tie wrap on it approximately every 18 inches, getting it out to where this connection here, this female receptacle is out by your hoses. And then this is the portion that plugs in here. Now, one of the cool things about this is we actually are using Deutsch connectors that have an LED in here. So the first thing you're going to do is plug this into your machine, get familiar with your machine, which button is going to make this actuate. And you can literally just sit in your machine, hit the different buttons until you see this one light up. Once you see it light up, that's the one you're going to push when you, when it, when you want to actuate the, the attachment. That's the 8 pin. These come pre-pinned with A and B already installed. If you're not happy with that though, you want to use a different button. All you do is push B out. That's B as in Bravo. You push that one out and you can put it in a different location. You always want to leave A in the same location because that's your ground. And then all you're going to do is select which one, which other button or function you want to use uh, by placing that socket back up into the connector uh, into whichever one matches the actual button you want to push. We have other videos on the website that show you actually how to remove these, how to take the back off of it. So just refer to those if you need more information. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is a 14 pin connection. That's the connection that's used on most modern machines, including Kubota, Case, New Holland. Uh, and, and so you'll, you're going to run into this quite a bit. 14 pins means 14 positions. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's how many pins you've got installed. So it's the same rules apply here. Plug this in here. We route this extension harness out the boom, and then we take our PP14 and we plug it in. And again, this one has installed, it has installed a LED. So you're going to do the same thing, plug it in your machine, make yourself familiar with it. What we did here also is we jumper two of them together. So it, it could be one of two different buttons that you're going to push to make this work. So it'll work either, either way. Now remember, this is a selector valve. So what'll happen is when you see this in, in a, an attachment that, that has a different set of functions, you'll use your primary pump positioning. So you'll turn your pump on and off in either forward and, and reverse direction for the primary function. But when you get down to actually doing the secondary function, you'll hold whichever button it is that you've identified in your cab, you're gonna hold that button down and you're gonna use your pump function at the same time. So simultaneously, you're pushing on one and doing the other function at the same time so that you can make that secondary function operate. Okay, we're gonna talk about John Deere. I've taken the back of the connector off. And what we did here was we installed an extra jumper and this comes from ground. There's some uh, shrink tubing over this. You're gonna cut the shrink tubing off and you're gonna fold this over and put it into the A position inside this connector. And what that does is that opens up the ground to go to A, because that's the only difference between John Deere and old Bobcat style, which includes uh, Kubota and Case. Um, it's exactly the same pin out, except they move the ground to make you think that, oh, nothing's going to work now. So all we do is we have this little jumper in here, pull the, pull the shrink tube off, push it into A position. That's all you need to do. And now this will work on John Deere. So if you have a Bobcat 7 pin, that uses a special CAN controller. What Bobcat does is they put a computer in every single one of their attachments. We want to save you money so we don't make you do that. What we do is we have these little adapters. And what we have here is there's a 7 pin in here that plugs in the machine. Inside here, there's a microcontroller that reads the codes off the Bobcat. And will then, when you hit a button, it will give you a switched uh, 12 volts that will operate your solenoid. So that's what this is, and that's why they're so expensive. So what you're going to do is you're going to wire this exactly the same way as before. So you'll plug this in, you'll run the wire down your hoses. You've got this connector. The problem is, is we do have a female receptacle on both ends. So what we have to do is we have to add one of these little jumpers. And this is a DT-DT18. So it's an 18 inch little thing here. 
If the cable's too long, just wrap some of this and loop it and use a, a tie wrap back inside. What that'll do is that'll buy you some time if you accidentally leave it connected and drive away. It'll pull this loop and snap the, the tie wrap off so you'll, you'll hopefully catch yourself before you tear the whole thing apart. So once you've got this little uh, Deutsch to Deutsch connector here, you just plug it in and off you go. You really only just want to use this when you're running your attachment. So what you should do is when you're done with it, undo it, put it someplace safe because it is expensive. You don't want it to disappear. And then uh, when you're ready to operate it, plug it in, plug it into the attachment. And then when you turn your machine on, you don't even have to ha actually have it running. Just have the key on. Look here, see if this is flashing. That tells you that there's power and it's connected to the bus. When you touch what we call B1, B2, which is the... Um, it's the little paddle closest to your left thigh and has a picture of two opposing solenoids. When you touch that at the top, it'll lock this on. If you touch it at the bottom, it's momentary. Now, if you touch it at the top and you lock it on, you can touch either button and it'll, it'll cancel it out and it'll go back to non-operational. So this is the same thing. You can operate this uh, with your machine using the paddle on the, on the right side, which makes your pump either go forward or reverse, and then you have to hold the button. The feature of this though is if you touch the top of it, it does lock on. So you could touch the top and take your hand off and still operate it. But to reset it then and bring it back to normal operation, just touch it again and you're good to go. And that's the Bobcat 7 pin. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. I hope you guys come back to us for all of your electronic needs and harnesses. Uh, we work with uh, uh, direct to retail through our website, but we also do work with OEMs. So if you've got a great idea for a new attachment, you need a harness from us, come and see us.